Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachahakurash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. And I wanted to do a response to this video uploaded by the elder brother, Mawatazak, right, the head of the GMS branch at Los Angeles, all right, uh, California. In the name of his page, as you can see here, GMS Rock Solid Foundation 2, all right, then it's a space, and then it's the same thing, GMS Rock Solid Foundation 2. And the title of this video is There Is No Light In Them. All right. Speaking of these particular entertainers, you know, uh, so-called activists, actors. All right. Who uh, you see coming on these particular platforms. And uh, it has a lot of our people. All right. Amazed. All right. Because some of the talking points. All right. Can be linked to what is true. All right. But these individuals and the agenda behind them. All right. Is all linked to the left hand. All right. As this uh, brother spoke to. All right. In the uh, book. All right. Called, you know, the protocols of the learned elders of Zion. All right. One of their uh, forms of witchcraft. All right. Is taking particular truths and setting up their own leaders to speak to those truths but linking idol worship witchcraft and a, and, a, and a million other things to it as a way to lead people into air thinking that they're following the truth all right and everything that comes from this system is a psychological war or a psyop all right Psy psychological operation all right, mainly on you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, but on all of the American people. All right, and it speaks to a lesson that I was formulating in my mind um, that we as the leaders, as the teachers, all right, of this truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we cannot have the mindset of a civilian. Okay, now what is a civilian? All right, because we are what in a spiritual war now a civilian. All right, as you see here is a person who was not an active member of the military, the police or a belligerent group in a conflict. All right, and we are in a war. All right, now our war is spiritual as the scriptures say the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. All right, this is a spiritual war that we're in and we're on the front lines of it. And we cannot have the mindset, all right, of an everyday civilian. We have to have a mindset of a soldier, as the scriptures tell us this in 2 Timothy 2 and 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. All right. And we can't look at any. We, we have to look at everything that we encounter from the perspective of a soldier in a war not as a fucking civilian okay now the word for soldier in the greek all right which soldier soldier means solitary all right meaning you're using your mind as as the next scripture say you're not entangled with the affairs of this life now the greek word strong's g forty-seven fifty-seven. Stratiotes. Stratiotes. Okay. A common, it says soldier. All right. Metaphorically, a champion in the cause of the Messiah, the real anointed one. All right. And that's ultimately our cause. All right. We are soldiers in a spiritual war. All right. When we woke up to the fact that we were Israelites. Okay, we came into what? A war. You woke up to a war. All right, and again, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, all right, but the pulling down of strongholds that rule and govern 
this whole entire planet Earth, all right, which these individuals who Esau allows on his platforms, all right, for millions of people to see, all right, they're speaking to those things, all right, but using talking points of truth, all right, and you best believe they all know about the Israelites, okay, this word has been reached, all right, the gates of the nobles, all right, and as this brother is saying, we don't need niggas like Kanye West, all right, now, if so happen a particular individual who may be of the elect or who is of the elect, all right, because either you are or you aren't, happens to hear the talking point of the the Jews being so-called black and he goes and does research or she goes and does research and it leads them to the truth, then call Halal Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, but this guy Kanye West himself and the rest of these individuals who are supposedly canceled, Okay, they're canceled, yet they're on platforms owned by the elite. Okay? They're tainted. Okay? And ultimately, we must look at it that way. I don't give a damn how much you like these individuals. I don't give a damn how much they speak to things that, that, that move you, all right, in your spirit. You must look at them as tainted individuals. All right, who are ultimately enemies of Yahweh Shai. All right, and you can hear it in their speech when they speak of what they see as the future. All right, and, and, and what our people should be following. It has nothing to do with what's going to bring salvation. Okay, so we cannot have the mindset of everyday civilians when particular uh, soldiers go to war wherever they go. All right, they go, they get on airplanes or, or jets, and they go into these foreign countries and lands. They're not there to think as everyday civilians. They're there on a mission. The everyday civilian is caught up with the affairs of this world, this life. Okay, we can't speak to those things. Even when it moves us, even when it, it brings us joy, to hear particular talking points, we must always put everything in its proper perspective because what you have happening is you'll have one of these individuals pop up and say something, all right, but then you'll have one brother who's like, man, this dude is juiced in, all right, but then you'll have another brother pop up, oh, no, nah, I don't think he's juiced. Yes, he is, man. All of them are. Anyone who's on the platform of Esau Edom on the news Somehow, some way, they are juiced in. I don't give a damn how much they speak to who you are and, 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 your, and your likes. Okay? And there's nothing wrong with taking particular of their talking points because ultimately there is something happening in the spirit. Okay? There's a lot happening in the spirit. All right? But we must also know... <laughs> That the main thing happening in the spirit is the clash between good and evil. Okay? And these niggas, like Kanye West, are a part of evil. You see? So I'm almost halfway uh, uh, with this brother's video. All right? And, and that got to stop. Brothers, you know, arguing back and forth about, you know, the, the you know who may be juiced in and that, 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 that shouldn't be an argument amongst brotherhood. We should all know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that everything in this world is an illusion. Okay? Again, these dudes are supposed to be canceled, but they're, uh, they're, they're, they're able to get on platforms where tens and millions of people are watching. There is an agenda behind it, and you got to know that. Okay? Because what Esau is ultimately doing, all right, it's, it's political and it's spiritual, but on the left-hand side because no one's listening to Esau anymore. No one trusts him anymore. So what he does, is he, as he always does, is he uses our people in particular uh, talking points that are true to galvanize minds, but at the same time there's underlying wickets, wickedness and evils that are tied to it to lead them astray. 
because you got to remember one of this devil's plans is to be like the most high. All right. And when you deal with the most high, let's get the book of Job. 12 and 16, it says with him is strength and wisdom, the deceived and the deceiver are his. OK, so Esau takes pride and joy in deceiving people. All right. With messages that speak. All right. To some sort of liberation. You see, he wants to be like the most high. All right. In his mind, the deceived and those who are doing the deceiver are his. He've been he've been doing this forever, but uh, one of the more notable uh, uh, practices of, of this is the civil rights movement. All right, where he took a bunch of flaming alphabet people, all of them. OK, Bayard Rustin, MLK. Alex Baldwin, even the women, they were all alphabet people, all right? Some openly, most openly, some secretly, all right? And he created this thing called civil rights. Off of the back of that, what came, all right? Uh, 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 alphabet rights, women's rights, in a big damn mess, and it led our people into more error. Okay, it led our people to be what? Integrated, all right, into following Esau. Okay, because we had our own before that shit, man. Okay, so they, 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 they created snares and propaganda, took over newspapers, and, you know, the three black girls can't get into the white man's school system, right? And then what did Jake say? Well, why can't we get into the white man's schools? And then they pass laws and legislation to allow you to get into their schools. And then you, 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 you and your children become weird, freaked out through. You start to learn the ways of the heathen. Okay, Kanye West is speaking to Jesus Christ, Christianity. Yet, all right, he's, he, he, he's seen with complete Satanist. Okay? This is a video that I saw Um off of Hugo Talks, okay? And I don't give a damn how good their music is. I don't give a damn how much you like these people. If you're in this truth and you're preaching the truth, you must, you must look at everything presented unto you from the perspective of a soldier in a spiritual war. As Neely Fuller, all right, one of my uh, uh, teachers, OK, says. If you do not understand the system of Edomite supremacy, he says white supremacy, everything that come <laughs> in, in, into your, your, your face, everything you come in contact with will eventually confuse you in some shape, form or fashion. OK, all of these people are juiced in. Candace Owens. OK, Kanye West, all of these people in some shape, form, or fashion are, are, are linked to agendas to lead our people astray. And if you don't know that, then you need to pray to Yahweh Bashim Shai for better discernment in the spirit. Okay? Now, I will say that what's going on with these people does work in favor of the elect. All right? Again, I will say... What uh, what's going on with these people does work in favor of the elect, whether it be the red pill movement, Andrew Tate, you know, Kevin Samuels. OK, it works in our favor because ultimately the, 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 the things our apostles and elders and the men before them were speaking. All right. Is, is now ultimately with mainstream. OK. But at the end of the day, these particular men who are in the red pill movement. All right, the manosphere, this and that, they don't have the truth. And a lot of them are agents of chaos set up to speak particular truths, but ultimately lead our people from the truth. Because Esau sees where Jake's mind is at. Jake is speaking sovereignty, manhood, getting their shit together, uh, 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 ultimately uh, 
getting the hell away from Esau and his, his lies. That's a mindset amongst our people, which ultimately started through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah. So what he wants to do is take particular of those talking points, okay, like black culture. We, we all right, uh, uh, speak down on black culture. We tell our people it's sickening. This is one of the main talking points of Candace Owens, but it's all linked to the, 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 Repub uh, the, 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 the uh, Republicans, okay? She told you to, to, to you know, take away, uh, take away or resign from PayPal, all right? But then she also told you to sign up for this other platform, okay? Let me see if they, they have it in this video. There's this other platform that ultimately is linked to social credit scores. All right? So Esau is being the devil. Okay? There you go. Glo glo glorify. Because what PayPal is doing is now they were talking about, you know, if you have a... Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to just play some of this video. But what PayPal was doing is saying that, you know, ultimately if you speak against the uh, government or you have, you know, a particular mindset, they, they'd be able to, you know, uh, take money out of your account. Okay, which they reneged on it. But then again, who knows what the hell is going on. So in response to that, you know, she's telling Jake and people to what? Take a uh, take uh, your 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 PayPal's account off and sign up to this BS. Which, when you go into it, it's owned by elite demons who are ultimately a part of setting up the new world order. You see. Anyway, and we'll get to some of this video. I'll just jump through some of it. Let's get the scriptures real quick. Okay. You brothers got to wake the hell up, man. This is the book of 2 Timothy's again. Second Timothy's 2 and 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life all right now the scriptures say we we use this world as not abusing it all right let's look up this world entangle it okay so yeah there are particular things that are going to speak to our spirit our particular being who we are that we like all right but these things should not come to a point to where the the, the they're blocking the overall vision of what we're a part of and what the hell is going on here. Okay? Impleco. Okay? To be enweaved of a thing entangled, involved in. You don't want to be too involved with these things. Because ultimately we have everything we need through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We just use particular things that are happening and particular talking points that are happening in this world as a means to show you the Bible says this and nothing more. But we must know that these particular people who are being shoved into the forefront, but at the same time <laughs> canceled, How can, it, doesn't, it doesn't make sense. You're canceled, but then everywhere we look, you're in an interview, all right, on a platform that's ultimately owned by the Amalekites themselves, the devil. There's agendas behind this all to lead our people astray, okay? So we don't want to be too involved with, these, with, 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 with this madness. We have to look at it for what it is as soldiers in a spiritual war, okay? You don't want to be in, in weaved in this garbage because the devil as a roaring lion, okay, seeketh whom he may devour. All right? And the slightest things that you think you aren't being devoured by, you can be devoured by it by being too goddamn involved in it, giving it too much uh, 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 
play as the truth. Second Timothy 2 and 4. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. You were chosen to be a soldier. You can't think like the common Israelite. You got to think as a, 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 a master at war, okay? Knowing that you, you can step in a particular place, there's a damn booby trap. There's snares everywhere, okay? The scriptures say, let's get this real quick. This is the book of, uh, I believe it's in Psalms 119. Give me one second here. Psalms 119 and 10. The wicked have laid a snare for me. And within these snares, there's idol worship and ways to rebel against the Heavenly Father that you, you won't even think you're doing. All right. But that's the way of the devil. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I err not from thy precepts. All right. We always got to bring everything back to the scriptures and, and understand where we are, what's happening. Because the devil is getting ready to fall. You don't think he's going to go harder in his deception? Mark 13 and 22. All right. For many false anointed ones. That's what the word Christ means. Christos anointed. Okay, so they don't they don't actually have to uh, say that, you know, um, they're, you know, Yahweh shy. Okay, but they can, you know, try to use the Bible or they can just say that they have some form of the truth for many. All right. False. All right. Messiahs or anointed ones and false prophets shall rise and shall show signs and wonders to seduce if it were possible even the elect that means the things that they're going to come with are going to be very very well thought out well planned and 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 good to hear okay and he's been able to do this to our people and the american people and all of the people in the world forever that's what he's been doing okay Seduce the word seduce all right Strong's G six thirty five Apoplanao Apoplanao to cause to go astray to lead away from the truth to error to go astray straight away from and that's what all of these people are set up to do. Esau Edom is trying to get Jake, who they see going in the way of the truth, all right, to say, well, you know, oh, the Hebrew is like, yeah, that's what, you know, Kanye West, oh, yeah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Manhood, yeah, 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 red pill, nah, the, 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 the holy scriptures is the foundation of all of this shit, Okay? And if our people don't want to get down with it, they're going to be destroyed. And this is a very serious message. You see? Because many of our people, okay, who are, who are, who are waking up, you know, to manhood. And, 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 and that's a good thing. Don't get it twisted. You know, manhood and, 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 and the fact that they're Israelites, they still tie everything to this world, this life, a future here. Okay? So what does that entail? They worship the beast. As hard as it may sound, we're in a very serious situation here. Okay, and a word for false anointed, okay, as we got here, is pseudo Christos, pseudo anointings. Now, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8 says, And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and that's happening via the prophets. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Okay. Even him 
whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. All right. A lot of those lying wonders, as this word lying is pseudos. <laughs> all right. Pseudos. All right. A lie. Conscious and intentional falsehood. It's a, a lot of this is intentional falsehood. When Esau allows Jake to come onto his platform because he are, it's too late. The cat's out the bag. All right. The Israelites are being pushed throughout the four corners of the earth. So he just wants to get people to believe, all right, that this whole black Hebrew Israelite thing or black Jew is just another talking point of black people. He wants to link it to a, a guy who they present as crazy like Kanye West to say, oh, that's just another talking point when it's actually a very serious thing that's happening and fulfilling biblical prophecy. You see? So these are pseudo-anointed ones. And I don't give a damn how much of the truth they speak. All right? The best thing for us to do when we see these things is is is, is apply what we can apply to the truth if you're going to use it. All right? But we, we, we must always keep at the forefront. All right? These niggas are the enemy too. Okay? They're a part of something. All right? That ultimately has nothing to do with what we're trying to accomplish. All of them. Okay? So the, 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 the man of sin would bring intentional falsehood, okay? In a broad sense, whatever is not what it seems to be. So these people coming onto these platforms, it seems to be a form of truth, okay? They say things that are like, wow, okay, I agree. You know, Charleston White, all of these people, they, they, they say things that are, are they, they make sense. They say things that we have even spoke to, right? All right, but when it's all said and done, their agenda has nothing to do with the kingdom of heaven being set up. All right, but forwarding this world, making it in this world, okay? Which that mindset is going to lead to destruction, okay? So again, we cannot have a civilian approach to everything that comes in front of us, all right? You are an active member of, of the Heavenly Father's military. As a matter of fact, let's get that in the book of uh, Ezekiel. Let's get that real quick. Okay? We got to tighten up, all of us. All right, this is Ezekiel 37 and 10. So I prophesied as he commanded me, all right, and this is symbolic of the prophets prophesying here in Babylon the Great, all right, which would reach the four corners of the earth, whether Israel, where, wherever Israel scattered. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived. See, this is what's happening on the planet earth. <laughs> all right, the, 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 the elect remnant are living. Esau is a is a is a is a afterthought. He's through. However, we're still in his system. Okay? And everything that comes out on his platforms that is allowed is tied to some form of deception. Anything that is pushed. Again, how are every all of the people who are canceled just pop up on all of these platforms, okay, to ultimately uh uh speak their minds. OK. It says. And they live now, the scriptures do say that their own tongue will fall on themselves. So this fulfills that in a sense. OK. However, there's still the devil, man. OK. It says. So I prophesied as he commanded me. And the breath came into them and they lived and stood upon their feet as an exceeding great army. Okay, this word army. Ha, y'all. Strength, might, efficiency. All right. And wh wh what makes this efficient? Okay, the, the Holy Spirit. All right. In which the Heavenly Father said. The men 
who were at the forefront of this great awakening, which is not great due to the size, it's great due to the, the power and the spirit that comes with it, or is that at, that's at the forefront of it. It comes directly from the heavens. That's what makes it 100% truth. See, when people hear 100% truth, they're looking at men. No, the 100% truth is the message that comes from the Heavenly Father through His only begotten Son, through the Holy Spirit, Rehachwadash, to particular men. As the scriptures say, we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency and the power may be of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, not of us. See, He wanted us to come, all right, looking weak, all right, looking, looking, uh, as a matter of fact, let's get this real quick. This is a scripture I uh, was reading the other day. Speaking of Paul, which speaks unto us. See here. Yep, right here. Second Corinthians 10 and 10 for his letters, they say, are weighty and powerful because it was through the spirit that he wrote these letters. But his bodily presence is weak and his speech contemptible. And this is how the heavenly father wanted the prophets to be presented. He didn't want them to look like or be like this world. He wanted us to be separate from this world and our message to be separate from the mindset of the people of this world. Let's read this in the NLT. Okay? And this is how the even particular Israelites look at us. Okay? It says, 2 uh, uh, Corinthians 10 and 10. For his letters say they are weighty and powerful. All right? So, like, let me get here. Uh, it says, for some say Paul's letters are demanding and forceful, but in person he is weak and his speeches are worthless. All right? He's not... You know, this well eloquent, you know, well spoken. OK, he looks just like a regular person. All right. But but what he's saying. All right. And what he was writing, which today those writings are now epistles that are being done via the Internet. These videos, the street preachings, they're powerful and, de and demanding and forceful. All right. But but when you look at us. We're weak, and that's ultimately all the Heavenly Father needs. Let's get that in 1 Corinthians 1. Okay? Let's see here. 1 Corinthians 1 and 20. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? And Kanye West is a disputer of this world. OK. Have not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? OK. <laughs> For after that, in the wisdom of the most high, the world by wisdom knew not God. All right. And the world is ultimately the world of Israel. But then the whole world, Israel. All right. Is is totally engulfed. All right. And the God of this world and his perspectives and what he says a teacher or a man of the Lord should be. They look at God view, uh, through the, vin the lenses of, of Esau, Edom. Right, whether knowingly or unknowingly. Through the subtility, it says. So the world by wisdom knew not the most high. It pleased the most high by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. So this is foolish in this world. OK. Esau Edom is just trying to take particular talking points of the, 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 the truth and set up particular pseudo leaders. All right. So that he can say, I got him. He's the devil. He, he loves to say, I, look, I got people uh, 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 following after one of my own. All right. And then behind closed doors, these niggas are a part of rituals, orgies. OK, they, they bow to idols. They rub elbows with, with, with complete top-level demons. Okay? It says, for the Jews require a sign and the Greeks seek after wisdom. Okay? The, 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 the Jews are basically those who were born into the customs. They require to see something to make them believe the truth is the truth. The Greeks were those who were just into all of these different philosophies. 
See? And, our, and all of these mindsets are back today amongst our people. This is why we're telling you that, that, that bowing to Yahweh Bashim is the, is the is, gives you the best chance. Okay? Because this world is full of left hand energy and snares. Verse 25, because the foolishness of the Most High is wiser than men, and the weakness of the Most High is stronger than men. For ye see your calling, brethren, all right, how that not many wise men after the flesh, nor many mighty, nor many noble are called. Okay? Now you have particular brothers who went to Esau's institutions before they woke up. You have particular brothers who may have had money or whatever, but that's few and far between. It says, but God have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. He ain't, the Lord didn't call no goddamn Kanye West, Andrew Tate, Kevin Samuels. All right? Although they say some d decent things. Cool. But when you're looking at it from the perspective of a, of, a, of a man at war, it ain't all that. Okay? This doesn't mean you can't like it, share it, link particular things to the truth. That's not at all what I'm saying. All right? But our people uh, uh, get too far into this stuff as the actual truth, as if these people are real, true opposers of Esau's New World Order. No, they're a part of it. You got to get that through your head. Everything around you, everything presented to you is, a, is, is an illusion. Okay? But it all works in our favor <laughs> for prophecy's sake, man. It says, and God have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. And the base things of the world, the things which are despised, have God chosen, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. You're the base things of this world. Within Esau pseudoscience, all right, and, and his doctrine, you're the lowest on the totem pole, pole. Okay? It says, the things which are despised have God chosen, yea, and the things which are not to bring to naught the things that are. And that's fulfilled in this spiritual army, the spiritual force that is being raised up in these latter days. All right? The true temple of Yahweh Bashim Shai, where the truth abides, where he dwells in us. Okay? So we must have the mindset, all right, of actual soldiers and not everyday civilians. Civilians are entangled in all of this stuff. Civilians are ood and odd. Okay? You, 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 you a man at war, and you, you stop, and you see some everyday civilian stuff, and you like, ooh, ah, wow. Ooh, ooh, you're you, you going back and forth with these. And then you, the, one of them got a bomb. Ah, you get your ass bombed and destroyed. Nigga, you are on a mission. <laughs> you better wake your ass up. Okay? 1 Corinthians 9 and 25. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Let's look up this word temperate. Make sure you're temperate, man. Make sure you're practicing temperance. Go make it, make sure every thought that you have, you don't have to say everything you're thinking. Okay, a brother, you know, uh, calls a guy like Andrew Tate an agent, CIA agent. You don't have to, oh, no, nah, I don't think so. You can keep that thought to yourself. Andrew Tate ain't pushing you, how about you, how shy? These brothers have the right to call that nigga an agent. Okay, he's just a, 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 a guy who says some things that are good, that speak to the ancient Eastern way that man thought. And that's that's a good thing. It helps us. All right. But overall, he's a part of something. All right. That, that when it when it comes down to it, has nothing to do with this truth. Point blank, period. Kevin said all of them. OK. It says the word entangled. Or uh, 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 what is the word I'm looking for? Temperance. Strong's G 1467. Ekratuamai. Ekratuamai. 
to be self-controlled. <laughs> All right. Continent. Let's look up this word. To ex exhibit self-government. To where this, the, the, these things don't just have you all over the edge. Ood and odd. And we all go through these things because we're in the flesh. <laughs> okay? To exhibit self-government conduct. One, self-temperately. You got to be temperate. Maybe it's just saying con content. Did it just mess up the word content? Because a continent, if I'm thinking, was like Africa or something. Give me one second. Yeah, Europe. Nah, that. Maybe it just meant content. Okay, content. Okay, certain things speak to particular brother's spirits more than it speaks to others. But you got to just be content with that, man. And you can't go too far left or right. You just got to stick on the path, man. Okay, and that's scriptural. Okay, you got to exhibit self-control, man. Government. And, and, and that starts in the mind, man. It says, in a figure drawn from athletes who, in preparing themselves for the games, abstain from unwholesome food, wine, and sexual indulgence. You have to be uh, 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 very, very temperate in the affairs of this world because we're here. Don't get it twisted. We're here. So we're going to like things. We're going to like sports. We're going to like, but you, you, you must understand all of this shit is fake, man. You got some brothers that they they really think that some of this stuff is real. The 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 grip this devil has on the planet Earth and the deception that is being uh, uh, played out is not low level. It's it's serious, man. <laughs> okay, and that's okay. You know, you may have a brother who's not, you know, into a lot of you know so called conspiracies and this and that. But to 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 think that there's none at all, it's like brother, come on, man. Come on, bro. This devil, look, bro. This this devil's his his whole uh, mo is to deceive. As, as a matter of fact, let's get uh, Revelation twenty. What, what was he gonna do in his little season? Okay. And what the hell do you think he's doing now? Revelation twenty and seven. And when the thousand years were expired, going back to the uh, uh, end of the Byzantine Empire leading into the Renaissance, Satan, all right, the man of sin, shall be loosed out of his prison. Satan means adverse to the truth and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth. So this is what he's done up until this point. He ain't stopping. All of this stuff that's on TV and pushed in entertainment and music, it's mingled with deception no matter even if truth is in it. Deceive the nations. What does deceive mean? Planao. To cause astray, to lead astray, to lead aside from the right way. To go astray, to wonder. And that's what he's done. To be led into error and sin. Okay? And he can make that to sound as if it's help. Okay, what the hell do you think he did in the garden? Okay, remember Eve, all right, the woman, the church. What did she say about that philosophy that that serpent came with? <laughs> Genesis 3 and 6. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her and he did eat. Okay? <laughs> so we went off. 
See? But 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 it was pleasant to the eyes. It was presented as a, a, like a, a great thing. All right? So again, let's go back here. 1 Corinthians 9 and 25, every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Okay? Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. Okay? Because he's linking it to sports. All right? And when these particular sports events happen, and they're, 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 they're trying to get a belt. You know, a, a, you know, a trophy, which is a corruptible crown. We are trying to get an incorruptible crown. So all of this shit in this world and the people who are involved in it, who we may take a liking unto, we must always keep it at the perspective of this world. See? I therefore so run not as uncertainty, or uncertainly, so fight I not as one that beat at the air. Okay, the punches we throw, we want to make sure <laughs> that we're, 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 we're throwing to connect. Now, you faint, all right, to set up punches, but in a fight, you're not just throwing punches because you can. Okay, you'll tire yourself out. You have to be mindful that you are in a spiritual war. NLT, so I run with purpose in every step. I am not just shadow boxing. Nigga, I am in a fight. <laughs> you see, in shadow boxing, you just punching, you know, you warming yourself up. No, we are in the war. We are in the fight. And it's only getting ready to intent intensify itself. Sirach 13 and 13. Observe and take good heed, for thou walkest in the peril of thy overthrowing. Any step can be your last. Any punch can be your last. Okay, you can overextend, throw the wrong punch, and open yourself up and get knocked the fuck out. Okay, because look, we're, we're in the 12th round. So if you got hit with a particular punch in the first round, then you got hit with it in the, in the, in the third round, then the fourth, fifth, you keep getting hit with the same punch. Eventually, you'll get your ass spiritually clipped. So when you hear these things, awake in thy sleep, you walk in the peril of thy overthrowing. I think I pulled this up in the, NL, in the GNT. It says, keep your secrets to yourself and be very careful, for you are always walking on dangerous ground. Okay, so every thought don't need to be spoken. OK, because a lot of this stuff at the end of the day doesn't matter to our walk at the end of the day. And you and, and you as a soldier in a war, you got to apply that mindset. All right. So. I think that that's pretty much it. Yeah, I'll play a little bit of this and then uh, we'll close it out. Appeared on Fox News doing an interview with Tucker Carlson. Who likes wearing his Kabbalah wristbands? Now the CO network has influencers, agents in every corner. You have these ones here who are very big. You know, they get promoted on loads and loads of channels, get loads and loads of numbers. They meet with Trump, etc. And then you have much smaller ones. I see at the moment we are getting some of the bigger shields. They are attempting to give them more exposure in the media and try and make them more believable. I think that the public are starting to see through these puppets and see through the illusion of the mainstream and the fake alternative on the other side. And they're just playing everyone, all of the viewers. And these people, they place up as heroes. I don't believe it's working. For example, Jordan Peterson, he was on Piers Morgan there a few weeks ago giving him a lot of exposure and YouTube algorithm helping as well. And then we had the subversive plant Andrew Tate on the same Piers Morgan show. In Andrew Tate's case, they're trying to make him seem like he's really against the system with Piers Morgan playing the bad guy. It's a pantomime to try and make him look good and then cue all the minor shill YouTube accounts, Rumble accounts, who then go and make videos and say stuff like, oh, Andrew Tate, he destroyed Piers Morgan in the interview, etc., etc." It's all pantomime. These are showcases for them to be promoted and attempt to make them more authentic to the audience. 
You can check out the CIA details about these people in my previous videos. I'm not going to go over all of that again now. I mean, really, if you haven't cottoned on to this huge CO network by now, then I don't know. It's never been more obvious. I mean, Andrew Tate, most censored man on the internet, but he just got 3 million views in that Piers Morgan video. I don't think he's really censored, is he? Now, that Kanye West interview the other day is another attempt to reinforce him as being for real, you know, to try and make that psyop more realistic. Another high profile puppet. Of course he loves Trump. Of course he loves Elon Musk. And he loves Russell Brand. He's found Jesus whilst hanging out with Satanist Marilyn Manson. Yeah, of course he did. Then we have Candice Owens, who again, I mean, do I really have to explain? As you can see, this one is part and parcel of the CL network, the higher ranked CL network. Like I've said, you have the mainstream media, which is the first net in order to catch people and influence them with their propaganda. Then of course, they then create a second net, a second net to catch those that see through the first net and bypass it. This one is part of the second net. So of course, she supports Trump. She supports Elon Musk. Here she is hanging out with Russell Brand, Nigel Farage, on GB News, on Infowars, of course, with Alex Jones. Of course. All of these people are juiced in, man. Alex Jones, you, this nigga took a boat to the, the, uh, the, uh, the Bohemian Grove and, and did a video. Come on, man. See, you know, overall, this devil is defeated, you know. So, you know, he's taking particular talking points that can be linked to the truth that we can use. Because we use particular of these talking points. Don't get it twisted, all right, to show you that the scripture said this and that. All right, but we know that these individuals are all tainted. All right, the only ones that aren't tainted are, are the elect. And our people look to these particular individuals as actual leaders, okay? And that's where uh, we as the men of the Lord, we can't do that, okay? Of course, with Paul Joseph Watson, Ben Shapiro. Hey, guess what? All of these people support Elon Musk and Trump. What a surprise, and so on. All the same old faces because they all network together to create the second net to catch those who avoided the first net. They saw through the mainstream media. They're here to catch those ones. Now, what they do, and this is... See, again, people woke up. You know, a lot of people are waking up to the fact that there's a lot of BS. So now this is the next wave to catch you using truth talking points. See, but it's still set up to lead you into error. Okay? Just one example. What I want to do is show how here we have a high profile CO network agent and how this coincides with the low level ones and how they play the same game. Now, you may have noticed many people going on about ditching PayPal. Now, I'm not a fan of PayPal, but I noticed that all of a sudden this CO network, both the one in the USA and the UK, all of them were retweeting each other saying, close your PayPal account. Because of this thing that they were going to hold money in people's accounts if they were putting out misinformation, which they've now backtracked on, which is obviously not good. But I found it strange how they were all doing this, saying this thing about PayPal. All of it in synchronicity, in an orchestrated manner. And Candace Owens being one of the people who was saying it the most. Close your PayPal accounts, she was saying. Well, Candace Owens at the same time is telling people to get this. Glory fee or glorify, with it being fire as in Wi Fi, so glorify, sorry. She is clearly shilling for this company. Glorify is backed by none other than Peter Thiel, the guy who is the founder of Palantir, the CIA big brother eye in the sky spying on everyone. Named after the crystal ball, the evil crystal ball in the Lord of the Rings, the funder and also a funder of MAGA, yeah, and Trump. This Glorify is a new app that is a financial all-in-one app. 
Yeah, he says Glorify is reinventing the digital financial services customer experience, allowing members to manage their finances all in one place, mortgages, digital banking, and tailors social media for you and other stuff and recommends you all these things. But here's what I noticed in the small print on their site. It's a way of introducing the social credit score. Here it says about how you earn points. How you earn points. Use your Glorify product. You can earn points by using your Glorify product as described below. Promotional offers. You may be provided with promotional offers that let you earn points. If we make a promotional offer, we will let you know the specific terms and conditions that apply. Behavioral activities. You can earn points by completing certain actions in the Glorify mobile app and by referring friends who open and use Glorify product. Negative point balance, subtracting points from your Glorify account. For example, if you return items purchased, etc., etc., it can result in a negative point balance. So as you can see, this is a points-based system on behavioral activities, and it's set up to give them give points and take points away. This is your social credit score. This is your behavior modification system of digital control. So here we have Candice Owens telling everyone to close your PayPal account while simultaneously telling you to set up this digital app instead, which is obviously based around introducing a social credit system, a social credit score, which is what the New World Order wants. Okay, so this is how it works. They pretend to be on your side, but lead you into the dragon's den by way of a different avenue. Same as Infowars, Steve Bannon, Alex Jones, and you remember not that long ago, they were trying to get people to sign up with their blockchain, new financial system, new currency, digital currency, pretending to be on your side, but leading you into the digital trap. So you have all of these big players with big audiences who do this, but you can also see it with the smaller ones, like this Dan Astin Gregory, who I talked about before. And here we see, now he is doing the same thing. He is flogging, selling access to a course to learn about blockchain, promoting digital currencies, which is to lull people into getting set up with cryptocurrencies and blockchain and eventually social credit scores. It's lulling people into the digital trap. And I'm sure you're gonna notice many more of these people, these high profile people and low profile people do the same thing. Oh, and don't fall for that. Uh, one of their excuses is like, uh, oh, it's the only way we can beat them at their own game. We need to have our own digital currency, get this digital currency and get into this. No, 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 no. They just wanna get you into the digital domain where you can then be cut off in an instant and your money can be made programmable. No, 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 don't fall for that one. You need the turbocharger discernment. As always, thanks for listening. Come and subscribe to hugotalks.com, the website, and up. So that's it. I just wanted to play that video. I thought it was a pretty, pretty good video. Um, also, the uh, the elder brother, Require Quam. Hold up. He did a video, too, that you should check out. checking that out yesterday uh, this is his page yeah controlled opposition yay and company check this one out but that's it man i'm gonna I'm I'm gonna leave it there hopefully y'all are edified you know um hey let's tighten up and understand like like i said if you don't understand the system of edomite supremacy then everything that you encounter will eventually deceive you, all right? And we are the children of the light, all right? Not of the, the, the night. Shalom.